welcome welcome this is fitness anytime and anywhere by Marzena with moon salutations today this practice will take us about 20 minutes it is a way to connect to a cooler more liquid energy and it's structured differently than other yoga sequences we will start in a standing position today and we're gonna slowly work our way down to the mat where I'm gonna introduce you a few more relaxing stretches from yoga and Pilates they will relax your body and help you fall to sleep are you ready you are let's get started I would like to invite you to a beautiful beach in Florida Naples I hope that the sound of relaxing waves will have you bring your focus to where I want you to be so peace and relaxation All we're gonna need for this practice is yoga mat and maybe yoga block if you know you're gonna need some help with some poses that's gonna be very useful let's begin on the mat standing position feet shoulders wide apart take a deep breath into the nose and reach up think about the point right above your head that you want to reach the highest point above your head. Reach up again and then allow your arms to just slowly fall down. One more time. Keep your feet grounded on a mat. Reach, reach, reach up high. Hold up for a moment. And then we're gonna open up our arms, reach to the sides. Up this pose, slightly bend your arms, plie down, core engaged, allow those hips to sink to knee level. And then go ahead, bring your position up, arms open, back to five point star. Go ahead, swing your body weight slowly to the side, to your right leg. Triangle. You can go ahead and keep your hand on your knee or bring it closer toward the mat. Try line up your arms and eventually I want you to follow your fingertips and continue reaching up. Come back up slowly, turn slightly sideways, press against your knee and maintain your spine aligned as you reach forward. Pyramid pose. We're gonna stay here for a few moments. Feel how your spine gets long. Turn to the right. We're gonna move on to lunge position. Bring your arms up or down these are options you can also bring your hands all the way up here you're gonna feel your hips being open even more hip flexor stretched chest is lifted control your breath we started with the right leg go ahead bring your hands to the mat and now shift your body weight deeper down let's face the front now make sure your heel is grounded on the mat you can go ahead support on the floor or reach forward reaching out that will open up those hips and give you such a relief come back from this position we're gonna Mirror the other side, continue your breath in and out. 
all slow and relaxing back to goddess pose nice and deep squat elbows align with shoulders knees align with hips Just control your breath. Come back up, five point star. And as before, maintaining our spine aligned, we're gonna move on to triangle. You already know there are a few options and you can rest your palm on your knee or closer toward your ankle. You're gonna look up and follow your arm. And as before, bring your arms up, lunge. We're gonna hold lunch on the opposite side and I want you to take a moment and read up about benefits that this position gives to our body. We're gonna hold this about 10 seconds as before. Let's open up those hips, stretch your arms up if you want. And then slowly bringing your hands down, return to pyramid. Hold this pose. You already know there are options for you where your arms gonna be. Support it on your knee, on your back or extend it forward. Reach even closer toward your knee. And then let's move on to that deep lunge that's gonna open up our hips and release tension from it. Take a moment here and enjoy it. I want to remind you your heel should be down on a mat. Come back slowly. Bring your arms up again, stretch, reach to the highest point above your head. And then put your hands together, exhale. We're gonna now bring this workout the sequence to the mat. Go ahead, sit on the mat, extend your legs forward. You can go ahead and roll your shoulders back a few times. If there's any tension around them, I promise it's gonna go away soon. We're now gonna cross right leg over left and then put left elbow behind that knee. I want you to rotate to your right. You can open up your arm along with your body or bring your palm down to the mat. Quite often this stretch will feel easier on one side and more challenging on the other side. We'll begin with the right leg and this is where we rotate first return from this position straight up your legs again and then bend forward see if you can pull yourself closer down toward your knees try keep your back straight and your neck aligned with your spine but if it's a little around it don't worry about it come back and it's now time to switch leg so we're gonna cross left leg over and rotate to the left side. If you are watching this video first time, take a moment and read about benefits that this position gives to your body. Rotate to the left, moving the elbow behind knee, move your shoulders back and away from ear, and try keep your chin up parallel to the floor. Bring your arms up, flex and point your toes a couple times. We're gonna dive into the stretch once again. Notice how it's getting more and more comfortable because your muscle 
relax. Don't force anything. Just breathe. This time we're gonna cross our legs, bring your knees out and down to the mat and arms up. As you exhale, I want you to follow up with couple stretching motions to the right, to the left. Follow your arm and remember we are trying to extend that spine up so you're not going to go down toward the mat instead you'll be reaching up if you feel one side is more tight I want you to hold that side and stay there for longer it is very important that we can and try to correct our body imbalances if you can't tell the difference just keep switching from right to left Next, we're gonna twist and see what's behind us. And then you can go ahead and switch side or hold one side if you are fixing those imbalances I mentioned. Open up your right leg and next I want you to pull yourself toward that side. Extend your arm up and keep stretching your whole body. Breath in and out. With every minute, you're gonna feel more and more relaxed, ready for that good night's sleep. Cross your legs, drop your head down, feel how heavy it is. Yes, it's heavy, especially at the end of the day. Lift up your chin up and then drop it down once more. Bring your arms up. Line them up and now take this line to the right, maintaining your chin parallel to the floor. As you inhale, reach up and exhale, come back to the center. Then open your arms to the side once more. Rotate to the left, keep your chest up, shoulders back away from ears. Inhale as you are reaching up, and exhale, return back to the center. Continue sitting nice and tall as you open up your opposite leg out, flex and point your toe, and then stretch. Be gentle. It feels great, right? I know it does. I'm here with you. Next, try put your feet against each other. This is a butterfly position and you can either press on your knees or you can fold this position down. Feel relief in your lumbar spine, neck, out thighs, open up those hips. We need our joints to have a little bit of the break at the end of the day, every day. Return slowly. And this time we're gonna switch position to tabletop. So let's bring knees and palms to the mat. Go ahead, arch, and then round up your spine. Or, you can choose to extend your left leg and the opposite arm forward and then pulling elbow toward that knee you're gonna continue rounding your spine and then coming back to neutral spine if this is too much today or you just don't feel like doing anything else but stretch I want you to continue rounding and arching your spine like before Every time you return to this video, you're gonna know there are two options here. So round up that spine and then arch, drop your belly down and point your tailbone up. Letting the head to be heavy, decompressing neck part of our spine and then stretching those abdominals. As before, you can continue cat and camel 
or switch side. Now it's left arm and right leg and as before we're gonna reach elbow to knee and a neutral spine position exhaling and inhaling exhale round it up inhale reach one more time exhale and inhale reach beautiful let's stretch bring your forearms to the mat and now point your tailbone back and away notice we are not diving into child pose right away I want you to feel that decompressed spine enjoying this pose And now Dolphin will continue being on our forearms and we are pressing through and trying to bring heels to the mat. You can switch the one heel up, one down, see how that feels and don't worry if your knees are slightly bent. It takes time to lengthen up those muscles. Bring your knees to the mat. And this time, we finally going into child pose. Sit down on your heels and relax. You did a great job. Do you feel it? Do you feel a difference now? Well, I have a couple more stretching positions for you. You can go ahead and take a quick water break if you want to. We're now going to move on to on the back position. So lie down, point your toes, breath in, reach over the head. Feel how your whole body is being stretched and then as you exhale, pull your right leg in towards yourself. Try keep your head down. You can hold your leg closer to your ankle or knee, flex and point. And eventually pull it towards yourself. You can either grab your toes or you could use towel to help yourself with this stretch. Next, slightly bend your knee and rotate it to the other side of the mat. I want you also to turn your chin away from that knee to create this wonderful stretch for your neck and for your lumbar spine. Close your eyes and let your imagination take you to the most beautiful place on earth or the place you like to be. Be relaxed. Come back slowly, curl both knees in toward your chest and as you exhale, go ahead and pull the other leg towards yourself. Flex and point your toes, slightly bend your knees if that feels better. Give yourself a few seconds here. Remember to keep your head down. We are now rotating knee to the opposite side. And we don't want to forget about turning chin away, creating again maximum stretch. Use your imagination again, return to your peaceful place. Scan your body from the top of your head to your toes. Disengage any muscles. Slowly return to your back. We're gonna do the same position that we had sitting down before, so butterfly just now. We are on our back and you may find this one slightly more challenging. Try relax. Just let gravity to open up those hips. You focus on your breath.
help yourself to bring your knees both to the right, look away. And then move your knees to the other side, keep your head down, arms open with palms facing down. Go ahead, curl your knees in towards yourself. You can give yourself a nice big hug. And we are pretty much done for today. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. If you wanna take more time to reflect on this day, just sit on the mat with your legs crossed, close your eyes, and come back to your favorite place on earth. so happy that you found a moment to focus on yourself because it's important for us to have a little bit time where we can enjoy just our own company it's important you enjoy relationship with yourself it should be a good one because it will and it does reflect on every other relationship that you have in your life. I know you are in a good place right now. And I want you to find time every single day come back to this practice or any other practice that you are enjoying. I'll leave you there alone. Bye now.